Casey, <laughs> this is you and your crystal channelings that you communicate with. You take photos within the crystal and beings appear as you communicate with them. <coughs> um, okay, so what happens is um, the beings here in my space, I'm pretty much constantly aware of now. They're all constantly wanting to communicate. It, it's a particular feeling. Mm -hmm. It wasn't always as constant Whoa. as it is now. And <laughs> are you seeing it for the first time? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so it wasn't always as constant as it is now. And so when it wasn't as constant, I would literally hear the call, just like you would hear your cell phone ringing. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, there's Robin. <laughs> I know. They were ready. What a they precious wanted. space. Right. So, Seriously. I was so... When I when I requested the raid from Casey, that, I would I would tell my husband, I was like, yeah. I'm so excited. Casey's gonna do a read for me through her crystal. And he's like, so, What are you talking about? And then the next what day What is the read in Oh yeah. Well, I got up the next morning and I was like, Oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is because it had color and most of them are dark. Gray and white, black and white, except for the blue eyes. But anyway. So what does the read entail? What do you, what do you read? Well, I've done it differently, and uh, it, it's processing into, you know, being what it is right now. And now I don't give an option for the reads. I'm just going to, people who want to request one, uh, yeah. and I'm doing it for Patreon people, and people who even follow the Patreon page. So you don't even have to become a patron. Just follow I just the signed page. up while we were talking. Oh, yes. good. And, yeah, you can request a read, and you can request them as often as you want. And I just sit down and I will say who uh, will come through for this person. And I focus on you and do my focusing into the crystal and we, we see who will come forward for you. I'm, I'm not sending through information, just the formation at this time. Sometimes mm -hmm. more information. And Robin's going to really motivate me to getting to the point where I can bring through more information. with this I want this to be absolutely pure um, and so then patreon came around and that was like a patreon of the arts kind of a thing and I thought okay well I'm just gonna do this I won't block anybody from seeing anything and people who want to see this work continue can put a little into the pot to help me do it <laughs> right. Mr. Outlook on money maybe the outlook that of you seeing money as you know a necessary evil if you would just take the evil part out and, and that it's necessary. Necessary. <laughs> and that, that yeah. would release that block from you. And then and then the money would come to you more freely and more flowing for you to do what you wanted to do. Here's another element. I want to help other people get out of the money mindset and out of the conditional mind frame. I will do this if you do this for me. And so that's a part of what I'm here to help with also. But most people um, who receive something feel a need to give you something for it. I don't want that to touch the Patreon. I don't want that to touch this. I need it to be that the person honestly feels this is something the world needs and this is someone who is here helping to bring that and so i'm going to group in with this structure and help keep it on the planet <laughs> i need it to be that i i need a i need a, a group of maybe a hundred of us that understand that want to ground that structure here on the planet and then we can group and then the others you know they can start working through their other but with about a hundred of us will be a strong enough consciousness in the knowing of that and the desire of grounding that here in physical space that that will that in itself will then you know, uh, the people on the outskirts of that, anybody else who comes in will come into that larger structure and it will still hold itself up. It will still hold water. It won't change into another conditional platform. You, well, you know. Here's the thing though, and this is just my opinion, you know, people, um, so we just need to get there. <laughs> 
Well, people need to have something invested to be appreciative of what is coming to them. There needs to be, because people don't appreciate things as much if they're free because they don't have anything invested. Time, money, anything. I understand. So if you, you know, there has to be an exchange of energy. Yes. Some, some exchange of energy. Okay. And, the, so well and the, the exchange of energy that we're doing for the Galactic Travel Channel and these readings in particular is the energy that you're going to send from the contact form. And so if you've taken the time and the effort uh, to go to the Patreon and even just follow it, that's all I ask. You don't have to become a patron, wealthy or poor. You know, everybody gets the same. So that's how we've, you know, made the platform, shown the equivalency. We haven't made it a hierarchy. Right. Mm. And then you have to go and I'm redoing the video. It's, soon you'll have to listen to the video requesting a read. And then you'll go to the article requesting a read and go through everything. And then it tells you exactly what I need you to do and exactly what I need you to send me in the contact form. And this is the exchange. It's you. It's your consciousness. It's your energy. It's your delight. It's your um, combination with me to bring through one of these ET contacts. All of it, you know, to the world. The whole thing is a gift to the world, you know. And so that's the exchange. And it has nothing to do with the money. Although money is needed in the world and this structure exists, people can become a patron and put money into the structure to help keep it here and going um it's not to anyone it's just for to keep this in the world <laughs> you know? yeah um and so that i don't have to work so many hours in the care work that i can't do this you know yeah. so yeah i have a question about the easy contact out there, so it's gonna happen it will it will I have a question. So you pull a being forward and is this someone that we could then begin to actively work with? Yeah. All of them. Oh, I love this. When I say I'm giving you my frequency fields, I'm giving all the beings in these frequency fields also. And this is a lot of what we're seeing in the frames. Now, a lot of what comes to the frames is my own higher fractal consciousness. There's information embedded in there for you. Um, more recently, I'm getting your beings. I used to not be able to do it. Now I now I can, can really have, see. Yeah, my beings are so <laughs> loving. You have access to my beings as well. Oh, good. They could be friends with your beings. They could be friends with you. They are here <laughs> for service. Excellent. See, and that's how I need it all. That's that's the opening. That's the thing that money cuts off. That that whole it's it's not the money. It's the conditional mindset. I'll do this if you do this for me. You know, it's that mindset. It's that structure that we're going to dismantle. And we're going to show people a new way to do it. Because the same works will get done. It's just that money is not involved in the equation anymore. The same works get done. And those works aren't put into a box. Like, you know how if you don't have enough money to do something, you can't do it. But if you take money mm -hmm. out of the equation, there's nothing you can't do because everything now is possible. Mm -hmm. Everything is available to you. And I want to help show the world how that structure, that mindset, that concept can work here in physical space. 